Hi, I'm Gilad. I'm a program manager in the SQL Data Security Engineering team. Today I'll show the recent release of the new SQL Information Protection capabilities in Azure SQL Database and SQL Server. With this release, SQL now allows you to easily discover, classify, and label your data for various levels of business and privacy sensitivity. The classification metadata will serve as infrastructure for sensitivity-based protection, auditing, and monitoring. We'll start with recommendation-based classification and labeling. In the new Data Discovery and Classification area of Azure SQL Database, we can see a list of recommendations for columns containing sensitive data that have been identified by the automated classification engine. Each row corresponds with a database column. Information type relates to the category of the data contained within the column, while sensitivity labels define the level of business sensitivity of the column. Each information type is mapped to a sensitivity label as part of the organizational information protection policy. We can choose the specific recommendations that we want to apply, or we can simply apply all recommendations with a single click. We also have the option to override the recommendations if we wish to do so. In addition, we can manually classify columns in case they were not identified by the classification engine. We choose the column name and then the information type and sensitivity labels that you want to apply on the column. Once we click on Save, these classifications will be persistently tagged in the database as column metadata using new classification attributes that have been introduced into the SQL engine. If we switch to the Overview tab, we can see a dashboard that includes a summary and breakdown of the current classification state of the database. We can also generate and download an Excel report that can be used for internal and external compliance auditing needs. The report, similar to the online dashboard, includes a high-level overview of the classification state of the database, as well as, as a breakdown of the different columns classified within this database. Now that the classification metadata exists on top of columns, it can be used for protection and auditing needs. We have added capabilities into the SQL engine to calculate in real time during query execution the sensitivity of the actual data being returned in the result set. This effective result set sensitivity is then audited using a new field we have introduced to the SQL audit log. Here we can see an example of three queries that were executed against the database and their corresponding audit log entries. We can see that the audit log now includes the classifications of the data that was returned for each of these queries. By pushing these audit logs into centralized operations management platforms such as OMS, organizations can have full monitoring visibility into how their most sensitive data is being accessed. We have also introduced similar capabilities via SQL Server Management Studio for SQL Server on-prem, which includes support for discovery, classification, labeling, and reporting. To enjoy these capabilities, please download the latest version of SSMS. New SQL information protection capabilities, such as centralized management at scale, the ability of applications to consume the sensitivity metadata as it travels outside database boundaries, and more, will continue rolling out in the upcoming months. Stay tuned!